back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me organizing and cleaning out my living room, my kitchen, and like kind of random places in my apartment. I just moved to New York City from Alabama and I'm still slowly moving into my apartment. Something to know is that this video was filmed over the span of like two weeks. I have a full move-in vlog on my channel already, but I wanted to go more into detail in certain rooms in my apartment. My bedroom and bathroom organization video already went up, so you can also check that out on my channel. So this is going to be the last little kind of organization, full in-depth video, other than like little things here and there that I put into like just my daily vlogs that I create. But I'm so excited to be sharing with you what we are doing with the space. It is not completely finished yet. There are still some things that I would like to order and I would like to change, but this is kind of giving you a little bit of insight into the process of everything. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get going and let's like flash back like two weeks ago. sponsored by Gilly Hicks. Y'all know I love a good clothing piece and I love being comfy and feeling confident while wearing my outfits as well. I'm really excited to be sharing with you the outfits that I picked out from Gilly Hicks and I'll be leaving all the links down below for you for you to go shop. You can also use the discount code Gilly Moves through September 14th so you can get a little bit of a discount while buying really cute clothing. One of the things I'm looking forward to most while living in New York is transitioning into fall. I love fall weather so all these pieces can really easily be transitioned right now throughout fall so I'm really excited to be sharing with you. Let's go ahead and get going with the outfit that I have on right now. I have this lilac crop top. This does have padding in it which is something I always look for in a workout top like this. The back is also so cute. I love all the crisscross pattern on it. And then I paired it with these pants. These are really comfy cargo pants that does have like a little elastic string right here so you can make them tighter or a little bit looser no matter your preference. It does have little pockets and they have little cargo pockets right there. They are so comfy. I know I'm going to be wearing this outfit like non-stop. I also was obsessed with purple so much that I had to get shorts to go with it. These shorts are so comfortable. They're also high-waisted which I love a good high-waisted pant. I think they're really flattering. They're these lilac ones. They also have like little underwear underneath them, which is really nice. Please look at how cozy this outfit is. This is going to be perfect for brisk and crisp fall mornings walking to go get your coffee. I love this and this is so soft. It's this beautiful beautiful teal set that I got. So you can also do kind of like a one shoulder thing. I tucked it into the joggers and the joggers have to be like my favorite thing just because of how comfortable they are. This is like the perfect loungewear set. Joggers have pockets. They also tie right here. They also have little cuffs at the bottom right here. This is the nice little outfit I have on an all black moment, which I absolutely love. I'm going to be sharing with you a couple different colors of this set because I'm just obsessed with them. This feels so buttery soft. First, let's talk about this jacket. Jacket. This jacket is so cozy. It is perfect for transitioning into fall. Obviously, you can zip this up. You can just put it around your shoulders. No matter what you want to do, this is the perfect essential black jacket. I also paired it with this tank top right here. This is so comfortable. I think this is even a pajama top, but y'all know me. I'm gonna wear this out anyways. It has this white detailing right here along with just the black tank top. Then these yoga pants. Oh my goodness, they are high-waisted. They are so flattering. They feel so good. I told y'all I'm gonna be showing you a couple different colors. I did pair it with this white ribbed crop tank and this feels so good. I know I keep saying that about everything, but it truly does feel so good. It's really stretchy. This is what the back looks like. Perfect for all of your workouts. And I also have the jacket to go with it. This is like a muted olive color and I haven't seen this color everywhere. I think this like accessorized with some gold jewelry. Going on your fall walks is going to be so cute. Transitioning into fall. These are the pants. They are the same as the black ones, just in that different color. So cute, so flattering. And I absolutely love the color of these two. Next up is this cutie crop. I love the design on this. I think it's really cute. It's very similar to the one I just showed you in white. This of course is that same jacket and pants set that I've been showing you in the two other colors. I could not pass it up because these are essential for me. These are definitely always in my closet going in and transitioning into fall. Just because of how universal they are, I love keeping the color popped on these. I think it just looks so cute. And last but not least, of course, the pants to match it. These are again the yoga pants that are so cute and matches perfectly. Thank you Gilly Hicks for sponsoring this video. Again, I'll be leaving all the links down below as well as that discount code for you so you can go ahead and get some of your fall transition pieces for your closet. Will is busy right now. <laughs> 
building the dressing. Ah. So excited. He's about over building things because there's so many things to be built. And we, what do we do, boys? We always give it to dad, don't we? Say, us city girls can't do it. <laughs> Anyways, our pictures came in. So I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> Will's laughing at me. I'm going to go ahead and figure out what we want to do over here. So I went ahead and put everything on here last night on how I think I want it. And I think it looks really good. I think like the different type of frames really make it look like cute and not so just like basic. So um, I'm just gonna figure out what kind of pictures to put in there and I'm just dreading having to take these little sticky tags off. Rush, head flush. It's like jumping into the lake at night. It's my love too much. Cause I feel like it's eating me. Like I said, these shelves, when I was moving in, they were so oddly shaped. At first, I thought I was going to be able just to put boxes or like some sort of organization storage type thing in them. But because they're like a few inches thick, there really wasn't any way to do that. So I think this is a really cute way because I love gallery walls. I had a gallery wall right when you walked into my college apartment. So I think this is going to be really cute. And I love how everything turned out. Now, Will's still building the dresser. He's doing so great and fabulous. But I think... But I think I want to get the spice rack now. Um, I wish you could have just seen what Elle did. I tried to flip the camera around. Her toy fell and she dug her hand all the way down. I can't. Hold on. Of course she's not going to do it. She's sticking half of her body down. She just picked up one of her toys, but I couldn't flip the camera around fast enough. Anyways, I can never flip the camera around in time to get whatever she's doing but i'm gonna see what i can do with the spice rack now because i need to know if i need to order more spice jars um and like shelving and everything and see how it's going to be laid out hi baby ale are you looking over your city you look so majestic all right i just vacuumed so i'm ready for the spice rack and i'm so excited it's been gloomy all day so the lighting really isn't like superb in here not to mention that this not the move but willis walked out and i think he's gonna give me a pumpkin cream cold brew and i'm so excited which is it's really what i wanted this morning but then i got nervous i just i just can't deal with it but anyway i got acrylic spice racks and if y'all have been following me since college remember i have like that glass acrylic calendar in my kitchen well i'm gonna be putting that above it but i can't remember how many like spice jars I bought. So I'm gonna see how many. Okay, okay. How many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 12? Yes, 12 spices. I think once I start thinking about it, I'm not gonna need any more than 12. How much does this hold? 1, 2, 3, 4, 10? Only 10? Hold on. This comes with a hole. What is this? Screwdriver? Also, no need to fear, it comes with three racks. Also, I almost just dropped all of those spices, like the spice jars, and it bit my finger back and now it hurts really bad. Okay, so this is definitely something I cannot do by myself. So I may just like unpack it and then have Will help me. I'm not the best at leveling things. Leveling is where I, I can't do it. Okay, so these are what the labels look like. So I just need to pick out the ones that I'm gonna be having that I always have and put them on these jars right here. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try putting them while they're in this box because I think it may be easier to get everything centered and looking right. 
We're having a dinner break. <laughs> so boy, we're the way. Okay, so this is what the sink looks like right now. We're going to try and organize it because obviously I just threw everything in here when we were unpacking. So now we're going to try and make this somewhat organized. This is not the TV for the dresser. We're no, the we're actually still waiting on the TV for the dresser. Which is so bizarre because I feel like it's it was supposed late. to be here. But yeah, it says like it's, five it's days extremely ago. late right now, so I don't know. I might get a refund and just get a different one. But this is a hefty, a hefty girl. I mean, someone should have been here to video Lauren's hard work right here. Just, I filmed it. Oh, they watched all that? Oh, no, not that, but us coming in here. Ah, Lauren's so strong. I mean, I'm kind of the man of the house. <laughs> This is, this is like me. My arms right now are like, this is cute. Yeah. And so I'll get. Fuck, what do you think? Say, is this your dresser? Say, I'm an influencer cat dad. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. I have a full 10 step skincare got this all done i think it looks really good i put the candles up here just because i packed a lot of my favorite candles so we haven't burned these yet so they're just kind of right there but i definitely organized everything and it looks so so much better than what it did these are all of like our hand towels and dish towels and then those are like the little microfiber cloths that i use to clean things there is like that one little storage thing with the extra like little tablets and stuff back there but overall these are really really great i put things right here that we use all the time for like cleaning so they're like easy access but overall i definitely love this transformation do you want to come see the transformation the transformation i think it looks really good no i mean you're so cute so you did it's not the same. Yeah, it's just kid, baby. It looks so good. So, look, these roll out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Uh, also, if there's a fire, the fire extinguisher thingy is right back there. I just, I'll take my seat. I'll sit down or something. What do you think of that, Fuzz? Yeah, Are you buying it? Yeah. It looks so good. Are you excited about my spice rack? No. Round two of doing our spice cabinet because last night we realized that this door backs up to our neighbor's door and we were about to be just screwing into the wall. So we decided to do it today in the afternoon. Yay. Yay! Will's doing such a great job. We're about to be doing a little separate video of our weekend, uh, since this is like more strictly organization. But hopefully the spice rack will be done today. Also, our bed was supposed to get delivered yesterday and then today, and now it's not gonna get delivered until Monday. Which also works. Which also is fine, but. Is it okay? Yeah, I mean, it ain't gonna go to work. Okay, the thing that I have been dying to do is this spice rack and Will oh so graciously hung these acrylic, what are these called? Shelves. 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 And we also hung the calendar last night. So I bought this stuff on Amazon and I'm going to go ahead and put the labels on it. I'm going to have Will help me. It's going to be a fun family experience for us all.
And now this is like our little pantry area right over here. And I'm going to have Will move this back down. I've already had him. <coughs> bless you. Thank you. I've already had. Look at how orange this is, Will. Yeah. Pretty orange. Can you fix that? No, without a bowl. Right, but like yes. if we get bowls. Yes. I got this from the container store, and this is what we're going to be storing our cans with. We let it all go at midnight, looking at the stars to find ourselves, full of life and spot at the same time. It's a star, it's a light, it's a signal fire. It's the sound of your voice cutting through the night. It's a song, it's a note, it's reflected light. Keeps us dancing through the static and I hear you sigh Said I think we were born for it I think we were born for it Okay, hi. It's been a couple days. Not for you, but for me. I started getting very overwhelmed with everything and then realized with the spice rack, it was not how I wanted it. And there's nothing really I can do right now about it. We didn't measure correctly with the spice rack and the calendar. So it's been driving me up the wall. And every single time I try filming this, it's at night. So it's like really bad quality and lighting. And it just like really irks me, but I really want to get this done. So I hope you don't mind that you like bad quality filming and lighting in the kitchen. I don't really know how to fix it just yet. Probably just getting some lights and stuff and fixing the up ahead light right there. But Will got me these beautiful flowers today and I think they're so beautiful. We also got an orchid. We went to go get brunch this morning. It's been a lot of fun just like living in the city. But we are about to be finishing up the pantry. I will show you what I got done when you last saw it just like a few seconds ago. To me it's like bizarre because that literally happened so long ago. But I am so ready for like our kitchen counter to be like cleaned off and good to go. I and mean, we're also going to be setting up my little coffee station. I got these little jars for my coffee syrup. So we're going to be doing that tonight as well. Today is the first day of football season. So Will is like fully content in bedroom watching his little football game. So we are about to just be kind of cleaning up. I'm having like kind of a chill night and yeah, doing everything. Can you say hello? Hello, fuzzy. Can you say hello? Oh my goodness. Do they say beautiful? Say, do you want to say it's me, Elder City Kitty? Oh, I just want to squish her. Okay, let's get going. Okay. So this is what that little kind of condiment cabinet looks like. Um, It is like stacked up, so it looks like a lot, but it's way easier for us to see our cans, our oil, syrups, honey, all that type of stuff right there. And then right up here, this is where I'm keeping my tea, liquid IV, um, and then also just some things that we can cook like muffins and spaghetti pasta, things like that go up there. Now this is an ugly one. Don't really pay attention to that. This just is kind of like a junk drawer right up there or like junk cabinet. So don't look at that. But we are focusing on this one right now. I did get this little clear container shelf thing at the container store. So we have this little shelf to put stuff underneath on top and then also this shelf right up here. Okay, so I really thought that was gonna be more aesthetically pleasing, but it's functional which is good. In my college apartment, I almost had everything in containers and I never, it just didn't work out for me. So we have one container of Cheez-Its, but organize it a little bit. Uh, it's not cute, so we're just gonna shut the door and move on. So I got these containers at the container store for our milks because Will likes drinking udder milk, hence why this says udder. And I like almond milk, which is why we have two different containers because I just don't like the way that milk cartons look. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, but I think this is hilarious. Will isn't here right now, so he's not going to be able to see. He like just ran out to go get me something for my pumpkin bread that I'm baking right now. So I think he's going to laugh whenever he like pours his cereal like late at night. That's been his thing. He will get cereal like probably like 11.45 at night and I cannot wait for him to see that. So I have pumpkin pie, like pumpkin spice basically, salted caramel and vanilla. I normally don't go for a caramel. I don't know, I've just never been a big like caramel person, but I do have four little jar containers, which I tried just to get three, but I couldn't. So I'm gonna have an extra one. I'm just gonna like put up in storage, but they came with these cute little 
labels and it actually came from a small business in Queens, New York, which is really cool because it literally is like right next to us basically. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the labels on I these and then fill them up. My eyes closed and I know you're at the end of every rainbow. Oh, you kept the my mind like a light show. Oh, and I can put it down like an awful. I'll keep giving you my Fridays, midnights. I could answer your heartbeat all night. Didn't want to tell myself you were my type. this video and it's us getting our couch they just called us and our couch is going to be here in about five minutes so now we can actually organize the living room today which i'm really excited about i have been shooting content all morning with a new little photographer here she's so cute her name is shelly anywho um it is are you looking outside beautiful I also have brunch today with a new friend. Uh, so this couch needs to be snippy snappity in here. So we can put it together. Okay, good morning. 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 Okay, so the couch is here. I had to leave to go get brunch when Will had to literally bring every single piece of this couch up here. Yeah, tough. I thought I paid for white glove delivery and indeed I did not. So uh, Willard literally bought this couch up here. But the thing is, is that it's very big for the space and where we originally had the rug. I think it's perfect. He doesn't want to move it. Where we originally had the rug is not going to work. So let me show you. Okay, like this awkward space, what is this? The reason why we have this awkward space, hold on, my peanut butter's right here. The reason we have this awkward space is because we wanted to keep one of like our cabinets right here. And obviously this takes up the whole living room so we can no longer have that. So it's going to only make sense to move the couch up flush up against the wall, move the lamp, but we also have to move this heavy, fluffy carpet along with it. So that's what we're about to be doing this morning because I still can't get to my desk because of the couch, but it's really comfy. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Um, we did move the couch yesterday before I had to go for events for New York Fashion Week. So I'm going to give you like an overview of the couch and what I'm going to be doing today before my events. Okay, so ignore some of the mess. This is the couch. So we did move it to be flush with that. Um, we are working with sort of a small space. This isn't like a very small living room, but just given the size of a couch, it looks a lot smaller. So the couch, the rug, these things are staying as it is, right? Over there, that's my desk. That also is staying as it is because that's where I do my work. That's where I do my get readies, all that stuff. Now, this is the area that we are about to be working on. So as you can tell, I did try and center this with where I thought the couch was going to be. So basically, all these things have to be shifted where it's basically flesh with this side of the wall that way we have a place for the lamp this obviously is going to go that's just one more box that we have to unpack well i have to unpack it and then hopefully we'll have some room for like maybe the mirror not too sure and we're also going to be hanging the artwork above the couch today which i'm really excited about so but hey you baby are you so we just have to move these things so it actually works because right now like you'll sit down on the couch and it's just like off you know what i mean like it just needs to be center so Let's go ahead and get it done. Chase forever into perfect night. We're so good together. You and I fall and captivated in my mind. You and I could chase forever. Okay, I'm not obsessed with this area over here. It looks very odd. Just like having this. Honestly, I don't think the lamp is going to work. Like, I truthfully don't. 
I bought the lamp before any of the other stuff came here. So that's why I'm thinking it's not gonna work. And also I don't think this is gonna work in here either just because it's so awkward. We could put it in front of the window, but it will block some of the natural light. So I'm going to see if I can put the cabinet right here and kind of decorate that kind of cutely and have its own little moment in the corner that was over there. It was like my little liquor cabinet. If you watch like my college vlog, it's like where I kept like all of my alcohol, like shot glasses, wine glasses, champagne, like all that stuff. So I'm going to see if I can put it right here. I think I can if I move everything just like an inch over because this is not it. picture frames for some reason i don't really know why i just don't think i'm going to like it also because the couch is way bigger than what i thought when i was like sizing these so who knows but it may look kind of cute or it may not so i'm just going to be putting the posters in the picture frames and just seeing if i like how they look because they are kind of like really bad quality i bought them on etsy and they are just like really not good quality whatsoever so they may not work like in general but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyways oh gosh if not i'm just going to get some other ideas and just do it like in another vlog um like if i don't like how these look i think it's just going to look way too small and way too like, weird but anyways let's head out if they just printed bad quality but i think what i'm gonna do is get like a painting to put above here like an abstract painting so now what is left for this video is decorating these because right now they're just like thrown together i'm not too sure if i'm going to be needing other things for this like if i'm going to be using all of this right here or like what's about to go on so i'm going just to play around a little bit and see what i like i'm going to do them how i did them in my college apartment where like one thing is on each one. I think that looked the most clean and put together. So I'm just going to take everything off of these two shelves and then try and put things on. I may have to get some like picture frames or something like that. I'll just figure out like as I go. Let's go ahead and looks like y'all know me I am always like changing things up in my apartment but this is how this little area is going to stay just kind of neutral um we obviously have the little 
It, this looks very similar to the one I had in college. I just really like this round table. And then this, I'm not obsessed with. Okay, like it, these things could be better. I may just go to like TJ Maxx and see, like if I can just replace some of these things because it's not really my favorite and I don't have anything for down there. Also these things down here, it's okay. Like it's not bad for the time being, but it's such an awkward space down there. It's kind of just like weird to do. And then over here, this is what that looks like. And then I just have like this pumpkin candle right here. I don't think I'm going to have anything on this table. To be honest, um, I just put that pumpkin there right now, but it's coming together. It is coming together. I hope you'll enjoyed this video and seeing how I am decorating and organizing my space in New York. Will and I are having such a fun time figuring out things. Will honestly just loves watching me create and like have ideas and organize in here. He is so go with the flow. He is just like, whatever you want, I'm good with. He'll give me his insight on some things, but overall he just loves watching me like decorate and organize. He just walked out, but literally I was just sitting here just like trying to figure things out. And he was like, Lauren, you're so cute. Just like trying to organize and like make this space like cute and homey. So we are having so much fun in New York. We are wrapping up New York Fashion Week. I vlogged the whole week of New York Fashion Week. So that'll be live on my channel so, so soon. But if you've made it to this part of the video, go ahead and comment down any sort of white emoji. I feel like the theme throughout my apartment is like a white couch, white rug, white, literally everything is like white is one of my favorite colors. So comment down like a little white heart or like coconut emoji. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family, click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.